Welcome back. We are here with part 37 of Cordelia's reign and we are here with the Royal Summit. Now, I'm just going through everyone's inventory and making sure that they have stuff in order to give to Luna as a tribute to the vampire who helped them create their kingdom. Also, apparently we have a green footprint, which is why the lights are flickering all the time. Anyway, we're gathering the royalty club. Now, um, this club does include the princes and princesses have and princesses that have moved out. And, um, you know, we're not going to control them right now. But since they're a part of the club, they are showing up here, which is good. And so we are going to get Luna in here. If she would please, please, please just walk inside. <laughs> and um, then we will give her some presents. Actually, uh, I just put that clay in Adora's inventory in order to get her to give it to Luna because I'm so sick of them playing with it. And she literally just went outside and hid it. Like, they are so obsessed with that thing. Anyway, uh, I was going to start with Chaz because I was just going down the row, but he is taking his sweet time somewhere else. I think he's trying to clean the, um, he was trying to clean the high chair. And these two are making out over there. Okay, so Chaz has given his present to Cordelia. Not to Cordelia. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing really well. Um, Cordelia is going next. Here we go. It's super glitchy. That's fine. Um, Chaz gave her a photo. Cordelia gave her a money tree fruit because, you know, we have plenty of those now. So I'm not really worried about it. Eliza needs to come back and give her present. There we go. And then we will have Simon go next. Look at how pregnant Regina is. I am so excited about babies. Um, I'm very, very happy about the baby situation. And since Adora didn't have anything else in her inventory, we gave Luna a condom. <laughs> I'm sure that she did not appreciate that. And then we will have Apollo go last. Just a second. Let's see. What does she think about it? Hmm. No, no reaction. Um, so we'll have Apollo go last. I cannot figure out how to do, make the toddlers give presents. I just have no idea how to do it. So um, we're just going to ignore that. Here we go. Last one. And of course, it's being glitchy. So he's way over here and she's way over there. Regina is in her third trimester. So I'm really excited about that. Actually, I think... I want to say by the end of this video, all of the babies that we queued up in the last one are now born, though I don't know all their names yet. I haven't um, had a chance to check in with them. And then also I had Eliza write a book of life for Cordelia, so I just thought that it would be nice if she gave it to her. Honestly, I was going to have her give it to her on Cordelia's birthday, but I forgot, so here it is. And these two, I just wish you would hug each other and it's, I'm waiting and nothing's happening. Here we go. Okay. So that was basically the Royal Summit. We have our money trees out here that I keep forgetting about. I keep forgetting they exist, but, um, you know, I'm going to do my best and try and remember them. And then Seth here is almost done with all his toddler skills. I know I said that I wasn't going to put pressure on them, but I just can't help myself. Like, I was just looking for something to do for a couple sim days while I checked in on, um, you know, everything that was going on. And I was like, well, might as well work on toddler skills. So now Seth just has to finish getting movement skill to level 5, and he will have uh, be a top-notch toddler. So I am going to fix Adora's aspiration here because there are no gym venues currently. I mean, there are places that have gym equipment, but it's not considered a gym venue. And then why is there yogurt on the floor out here? <laughs> anyway, um, Eliza is out for a jog. That's part of her wellness aspiration. And Adora needs to exercise well energized or push the limits while energized. So we need to have her exercise and then become energized and then push the limits. So that's what's going on there. And yeah, so everyone's doing pretty well, I think. We are going to have Adora's birthday in this video. So... That'll be exciting. She will become a young adult and we'll be able to move her out, which is great. <laughs> we won't have an eight sim household anymore. And then we're just waiting for Apollo to age up. I actually have no idea when Apollo's birthday is though, because he's so much younger than everybody else. So, 
But on the bright side, um, after we get Adora married, we will be able to... Okay, she was just showering out, not in the shower. Um, after we get Adora married, we can start having her be a surrogate for Killian and then have Killian or Blaze um, be donors for her and Kayla. And I actually think that I'll probably have Killian be the donor because they have purple eyes. And, you know, I want as many purple-eyed babies as possible to keep, you know, lots of heirs, lots of spares. And, um, yeah, Regina's coming to visit, still very pregnant. And um, what else? Oh, you know what? Before I forget, I wanted to thank everyone who's watching my videos and commenting and liking and all my subscribers. I'm just, you know, I had really low expectations when I started this channel. I just really wanted to, to kind of um, catalog my Sims and enjoy it with other people and kind of become a part of the community. So I'm really happy that um, you guys are enjoying it with me and I'm just really grateful for that. So thank you to everyone who is watching and I really appreciate it. So in here we have um, Eliza working on her wellness stuff and then we're having Seth just walk back and forth between each side of the castle just to get the, um, get his movement skill up. So um, poor thing is going to be exhausted. It'll be fine. And honestly, I feel like I made a mistake here because this side with the spa and the gym and stuff is, is an addition, sort of. And um, because of that, there's no connection to the rest of the house, which kind of makes it annoying, especially like I didn't put a bathroom over here or anything. I, I think I, I missed a step on that one. But I am planning on renovating the castle eventually. Um, I do have other builds that I have to do first. I mean, Adora's moving out and she doesn't have a house to move into, so we have to do that next. And I don't know when that speed build is gonna be available on my channel, these two. <laughs> you are in public. Um, they're on a date now because Simon has a soulmate aspiration. And these townies have quite the outfits. Anyway, so we are going to have them order some stuff at the cafe and what was I saying? Oh yeah, I don't know when the speed build video is going to be out, but we'll definitely be living in the house in the next video just because I literally just did a speed build for Killian's house and I don't want all my speed builds to be back to back to back because I don't build as often as I post Let's Plays. So I'll probably stagger those videos a little bit more. We'll have to see. Okay, and these two want to woohoo right now. That's fine. You guys go do that. We'll hang out over here with these townies. And what's going on? Yeah, we're just going to stay over here while they do their thing. Okay, sorry for any change in sound quality. I did have to relocate. So and now I'm in a different room with a different headphone setup. Anyway, so we are just waiting. Okay, so they are done now. <laughs> Thank you. But the date's almost over. We do have only one more interaction to do before we get a gold date. And what are these townies doing? <laughs> we were having a conversation in the bathroom and then they just walk in and oh my gosh. Anyway, okay, we're pretending that didn't happen. We're at gold, so we're just going to have these two, you know, get um, snuggly with each other and then we will call it good and go home. So I think, yeah, we're on the last part of the soul me aspiration. We need three gold dates and then uh, 50 romantic interactions. Okay, so we're home now, back home, and there is our baby dancing. Excellent, that's gonna get their uh, movement skill up. And we are going to bake a cake for Adora's birthday. It is her birthday, very excited about that. Actually, I think her birthday is like tomorrow, but it's fine, it's close enough. So it is going to be her birthday, and we are really excited about that. So Eliza is somehow an excellent cook. I think because I have the Better Schools mod, they learned skills while they were in school. So I think that that's how they got like some of the, these other skills up, even though they don't do the things very often. So here we go. We have our cake. We are going to start a gathering and work on that. So here everyone is coming in to sit down. And I am really happy that everyone is showing up. It's very nice. Adora's birthday, second to last, 
um, person from generation two to become a young adult. And I'm going to give her active because I did give her an active uh, aspiration. And what else? We, I do want her to, her, the march that she's going to be given. So it's going to be the same as Killian. Adora is going to be given a march and it's going to be like extreme sports, I think. Because I'm picking like one skill per march. And look at Cassidy. She is so pregnant too. Oh my gosh. Her and Regina. And we have to invite Kayla over because for some reason she didn't show up. So here she is. And yeah. So they are going to have an extreme sports. Oh, and look. Cordelia had her baby. What what, what did that say? The baby's name. I think it was like jo Joanna or something. Um, I'll get back to you on that in another video when I actually know what the babies are called. So anyway, we are getting Adora and Kayla to um, chit chat with each other. And I did want to check and Regina had her baby too. Oh no, it was Regina's baby. Who's Joanna? Anyway, I don't know. Oh my gosh. And then Cassidy is, is in labor. She's in labor. Okay. You got to go home and have, have the baby. You got to go, go ahead. <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, we are going to have these two get romantic with each other. I don't remember. I think Ashlyn hasn't had her baby yet. So um, Ashlyn, I think, would be the last one. Anyway, so these two are smooching. And I'm just going to change their outfits because I am going to have Adora propose, and I don't want her to propose in her gym clothes. So we are going to have them get more romantic. And here we go, the big proposal. Kayla said yes. Very exciting. These two are going to be married. So we're probably going to do that in the next one, um, have them get married. But anyway, so everything is going well for them. And now uh, people are starting to disperse. So I am going to end the club gathering. And Eliza needs to give wellness tips to 15 Sims. So we're going to start with Butler and um, do the yoga routine and give massages. So we are going to have her do that and then offer a massage to her husband. And um, these two just woohooed in the closet. Very nice. They are very excited about their impending marriage. And the baby is just walking back and forth, back and forth, like I tell him to. So a stone massage. Very, very nice. Very fancy. And every time Simon gets a massage, he farts. I swear. <laughs> Simon. Um, anyway. So I am going to have Eliza come over and do the yoga routine next. Haley looks like she really needs to use the bathroom, so you should just leave. And here we go. You know, a lot of my CC clothing makes their, like, this band between their legs. But anyway, um, we are also going to see Adora dancing. Look at her. She's so cute. I actually really like Adora. I was thinking about what we talked about before, about, like, my favorite, like, the Sims that I think are the most beautiful or whatever and I think Adora is definitely up there but I think it's just because she's like she's like a little Barbie doll um but also when I mentioned before I was talking gen 2 if we were going to go gen 1 now that's a different story I think for gen 1 my top ranked woman would probably be Carmen because she is so beautiful and like the closer you look at her the like more details there is because she has like little freckles and stuff so anyway I love Carmen Carmen is Simon's mother here and yeah I don't know about the guys honestly I wasn't like really fussed ab about any of the gen 1 guys you know more so than just you know thinking that they're fine not like Yuji who I think is like gorgeous so anyway Ashlyn's a lucky woman <laughs> and we are just going to like I said make the baby go back and forth and back and forth so you go Seth back and forth and then what else yeah Eliza's just doing that I am gonna have her check the mail and I think that we're going to, well, what are we going to do? We're going to move out Adora and Kayla into their own place, even though they don't have a place to go to yet. So, um, oh, and we're going to have uh, Cordelia sell the money fruit. 
Very nice. Looks like Apollo's already getting involved in the gardening. Very exciting. And then we are going to head to Manage Worlds and we are going to move out Adora and Kayla and put them in one of the new marches. So we're going to do that. And then um, we're going to give them their dowry amounts so that they can start a new household. And I was worried because my spinning wheel of death came around, but we're okay. So let's get Kayla in there and then we will move them in here and we are renaming them Lion. Like I said, we're doing animal names and I feel like lions and um, uh, what's it called? Lions and athletic things go together. So that's what we're going with. And then we are here in screenshot. So everyone gave Luna a present for the Royal Summit. We had a date for Eliza and Simon and we had Adora's birthday and engagement. So that's what we did in this one. And in the next one, we are going to have Adora's wedding, obviously, and then we'll probably um, have her and Killian do some kind of exchange for babies. And um, yeah, so we'll have to build her house. Like I said, I think I'm going to stagger the video a little bit because we just built Killian's house. So that video will probably come a few days after, but we will be living in the house in the next one. So that is what the plan is and like I said they are the lion march and their color is red and I am really excited to you know marry her off and then we'll only have one member of gen 2 left to marry off well I guess that's two because they need to marry each other so then we'll be all done with gen 2 pairing up of course that does not mean the gen 2 drama is over because I have something planned for soon um, I actually think Leto's birthday is coming up too, so we are going to have that. And um, yeah, so probably we'll do that in the next one as well. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed, and um, I had a lot of fun, so I hope you did too, and I'll catch you in the next one.